What I'm gonna do is attempt to mount this. What I wanna do is put a bracket using these two screws up here to mount this on that bracket, just like so. So the first thing I wanna do is get the spacing on those two screws here, the distance, because we're gonna have to go to Ace or somewhere and, and try to find some stuff to build this little bracket. Edge of the receipt, right there. So we're at four and three quarters. No less than two and a quarter inches. Okay, so it has to be 4.75 inches wide, which I don't know how, this is gonna be quite the menagerie here of uh, bolts and screws, and unless I just screwed it right down to the dash. All right, take two, since the microphone wasn't on. Just got back from Ace, and they had a decent amount of brackets, and the ones that I went with are these ones here, and they're, they're straight, there's four of them. So what I plan on doing is bending this at a 90 right here towards the end, and then I'll run it straight up, and then we'll have one coming straight up on either side, one on this side, one on that side, and we'll run one across, like so. And I got thinking, since there's four of these, if I can use that extra one, which I don't know, we might, we might be short, but what we could do is uh, run where I can find something else. We can run it from this bracket that comes up, and we can run it from here forward and mount it onto one of my clips for in here. That way it would hold it from going forward and back just a little bit more. But we'll have to give it a shot. These are only four inches long and I said they had to be four and three quarters. So if we use one on each side, two in the middle, that's all four of them. But I'll still have to file away the one side. Probably best to have these as low as possible. That can fit right on there like so. Okay, so now the only obvious thing is, I mean, now I'm gonna have nuts in the way. Wish you guys would have told me that before I did that. What was I thinking? Gosh, bless America. I don't know what I was smoking there. Something good because that's not gonna work. But, I know what I can do. I got a plan, it'll be fine. Take that out of there, find something to run one solid piece across there, and use those two pieces to run from front, front to back. And we ought to be good to go. Man, why didn't I, never, why didn't I think of the bolts? What, what was I, God, I'm an idiot. It's acrylic sheet, so plastic. Dude. You know, I wonder if I could just use a slither of that. I think that's what I'll use. I don't think he'll mind if he does, he can kill me. But I think what that is, is this stuff right here. There it is. Let's see if I can do this without shattering this. Oh boy. <sighs> Brick! There it goes. SOB. Well, I still have one more hole. I knew it was going to happen. Now it's going to look all ghetto. Also, we'll go ahead and bend these a little bit so they can go to the front. Like I said, they're gonna go to the front like this. One more here. If I break this one, it's all over. All right, guys. Let's give her a shot. Slide that on there. Tighten up. But yeah, she's, she's moving a lot. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so here it is. It fits perfect. 
the holes line up here and then they line up in the front so here's piece number two but the problem is this thing's not centered this piece up here it's way off that one fi fits in there just fine and this one would fit all right wait a minute okay well don't tell me i bent that the wrong way i did you moron once again i messed up okay now i got it right this hole needs to be on the bottom so either way i put it it'll be on the bottom and it does line up on the outside this is jimmy reagan at its finest right here there's no doubt about it i had to just slap this together somehow until i go get a bolt that'll fit it right but this is what i did get in there all right let me bolt on the last piece oh man guys when a plan comes together I'm I'm thinking that's pretty darn sturdy let's slap her on there's only one way to find out now this thing doesn't shoot as wide of a shot as what I have with the uh, with this here this is a guy I have a 10 this is a 10 18 10 18 now I don't know what this is I couldn't really tell you something 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 so no idea but we'll put that on there make sure it's tightened down this is what I'm going to use for the GoPro of course what I want to do though like I want to drill this out and that way I can plug it in it'll have power the entire time except battery goes dead pretty quick so I can get a bigger memory card that way at the beginning of the day or whatever when we get close to the storms I can go ahead turn this on and then just let it run the entire time it's best to turn it on first here and there you are you can see yourselves Is it hitting that do you think no yes nice thing is I can turn this thing right to left okay everything's shut up Whew, she's getting warm out guys so I just got done looking at some of this footage here from this camcorder that's what I'm filming on right now and it seemed to be really, really shaky for some reason on that mount. I don't know if it's just this camera. It must be the camera. The image stabilization is just not all that great. But whenever I go to the DSLR and put it on there, it's completely different. It's very smooth footage and you can actually see the image stabilization working because if you look at the bottom of the frame right down here, you'll be able to see that it almost looks like the dash is moving. So you can tell that it's stabilizing the image. So the DSLR is probably gonna be the way to go with that but it's easy to swap cameras on in any house so it's no big deal we just use the camcorder for who knows what but I'm a little disappointed in the camcorder being so shaky really nothing I can do about it but with the DSLR though I mean it's it's really nice footage I'm, I'm really impressed so far it looks like the GoPro is vibrating a little bit more but with the wide angle lens vibrations and all that shakiness is less notable noticeable but I think as severe as that is we're gonna be seeing it not bad at all oh man there's the sheriff he's probably wondering exactly what I'm doing so there it is you can fit your DSLR on there I still have plenty of room if I want to put a longer lens on there I have plenty of room between the lens and the windshield but that wide-angle lens that's just the best way to go I think with these when you're trying to get any kind of footage or uh, especially the pictures the pictures come out really great with the wide angle lens with these you know with the storm clouds it doesn't shake around too much but we'll see when we throw it on the computer we'll see what the footage looks like well there you have it that's my homemade I guess your dash cam mount all I have was eight I it was eight dollars for the hardware that cross piece that plastic piece I don't know how much it might have been a lot I don't know how much that cost my brother's probably watching this right now if it was expensive he probably just threw his laptop through the window of the of the hotel room whenever he saw me cut that hopefully it's not the case but um, that was minimal you can always use plywood if you want and then I just used a GoPro mount with the sticker you know the adhesive 
I just had that stuck on there just for my GoPro and then it turned out that it was in the right spot for those four inch mounts. Stuck a bolt through it and then I put my window mount on there and like I said, I, you can use the camcorder, you can use DSLR, and I mean, you can use whatever you want. So yeah, we can use this for driving and just when we're parked along the road and we have to stay inside because of rain or whatever and we still want to get some good time lapse video, so it works out pretty well. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, be sure to let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I should do something different or if you have a better idea, please let me know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.